students how are you all i would like to welcome all my dear students to our online class teaching this is subject mathematics icac fifth b1 and b2 welcome back to our online class teaching you have finished your quarterly exam and we are starting the next term and we are going to continue from where we have stopped now dear children tell me till where we have uh, completed till which exercise we have completed yes till exercise 5.4 we have completed and you have written the exam right okay fine in this video we are going to learn exercise 5.5 exercise 5.5 in that we have two section section a and section b in section a we have uh, 16 sums i'm going to teach you few from there got it and look at my note as i explain and then section b we will learn it in the next class at the end of the video i will give you homework that you note it down and do it and send to my whatsapp number okay student shall we begin our class take your book exercise 5.5 by the way this is session 19 chapter 5 exercise 5.5 session 19 here we go this is exercise 5.5 till 5.5 5.4 we have completed right now we will learn 5.5 section a find the difference we are going to subtract by using fraction we are going to subtract we learned how to do addition in fraction now we will learn how to subtract by using the fractions got it what's the sign for fraction uh, subtraction minus sign now i will work out in the note listen very carefully look at my note what the question find the difference we are going to find difference for the given numbers for example first one 3 by 4 minus 1 by 4 this is numerator this is denominator now you have to check now we have two fractions right the both the denominators are same so no need to find lcm we will minus it write it as 3 Minus one by four. You should not write two times four. Only once only. If you minus one from three, what will get? Two. Two by four. We can reduce two to the smallest number by cancelling with the second table. One two sir two. Two two sir four. So the answer is one by two. This is. correct answer got it students how to minus it okay now we'll do the second one 7 by 8 minus 3 by 8 here also the denominators are same so no need to find lcm right equal 7 minus 3 by 8 if you minus 3 from 7 how much you'll get 4 so 4 by this 8 1 Four sir four, two four sir eight. So the answer is one by two. Got it? This is also correct. Now next one, third sum. Third sum, one by two minus three by eight. Got it? Now write it like this. Equal. Now here two one eight. Denominators are different. Denominators are different. So what you have to do, students? We have to find LCM for two and eight. So write two and eight. Which table we have to use? Second table. Find LCM. One two zero two one. How many two zero are there in eight? Four two zero eight. One more time we can go. Bring this one down. How many two zero? In four, two two zero four. So write it two into two into 
वन इंटू टू ईक्वल टू टू जार फोर फोर वन सार फोर फोर टू जार हाउ मच एट फोर टू जार एट सो आर डिनाम एल सी एम एल सी एम ईक्वल एट ना write it 1 by 2 see the denominator should come 8 so here i'm going to multiply with which table i'm going to multiply with the fourth table so that we will get the denominator 8 1 fours are 4 2 fours are 8 got it now bring the next number 3 by 8 In this, already the denominators are eight, so multiply with one. One threes are three, one eights are eight. Now we can mul uh, we can subtract four by minus three by eight equal. To, if you minus three from four, how much one? And bring this eight here. One by eight. So one by eight is the correct answer. Now you saw the difference. If the numbers are different in denominators, we have to find LCM. So if you get LCM eight for this sum, and we have to multiply with the number, you should get eight. So I have taken four for the first number. So I got denominator eight. After multiplying, you have to take the answer four. Three minus it and bring that eight here. Four minus three one. So eight as it is. One by eight is the answer. You understand it, students? This is fourth sum. Five by six. One by three. This fraction is an unlike fraction. We have to bring it to like fraction. What you have to do? You have to first of all find LCM for six and three. Which table will use? Third table. Got it? How many threes are there in uh, six? Two threes are six. How many threes are there in this three? One. So three into two. This one is no value. If you multiply, we'll get the same number. Two. Three twos are six. The LCM also six. LCM for this number is six. Write it here. Five by six, right? So the denominator here already six. So multiply only with one. One five are one. One six are six. Now take the next number. Sorry, one by three. Multiply with which number will get the denominator six? We'll take second table. Two ones are two, three twos are, or two threes are six. So denominator here six. The next step, take the numerator and subtract five minus two and denominator six. If you minus two from five, what will get? Three. Three by six. We can reduce to the lowest number. One threes are three, two threes are. How much? Six. One by two. One by two. Till here is the answer. Got it? Correct. Now next one, students. Now this is mixed fraction. This is mixed fraction. What you have to do for this number? First, you have to change the numbers. From mixed fraction to like fraction, right? If it is so, see here the side number one, the side then one by four. So you have to do, you have to multiply that number one by one four equal to one four sir four, and then. With four, we have to add the top one. If we add, what will come? 
five. Okay, write that five as a numerator, then four as a denominator, then write it three by four. Okay, now this is the denominators are same, so no need to find LCM. Now minus it. 5 minus 3 by 4 if you minus 3 from this 5 2 4 denominator 1 by 2 by 4 so we can reduce 1 to 0 2 2 2 4 answer is 1 by 2 this is the answer the mixed number how we have to change we have to multiply this two numbers 1 4 are 4 and add the numerator So four plus one five. Write it as write it as five. Denominator as it is four, and then we can do the normal way that I have showed you. The next one. Now this is five, and then here this is in mixed number, right? So first we will change to mixed number to normal uh, fraction. So two into two equals four. Four plus Numerator one equal to five. Two two zero four. Four plus one five. So write five by two. Five by two. Just imagine here we have one. Now we have to find LCM. So two. One. If you find LCM, we'll get two only for this number. How many twos are there? One two. Got it? So one two one sir two. The LCM is just remember LCM two. Now five by one. The denominator should come. Two five twos are ten. One twos are two. Got it? This is over. Now do it for the next number. Five by two. Already the denominator is two, so multiply with only first table. One five is are five. Two five uh, two ones are two. Now take this the uh, numerator equal. Equal to five minus ten by two. What will come? Five minus ten. Five by two. This is the answer will come. For which sum? For sixth sum. The last sum. Listen very carefully, students. This also in mixed fraction. Now we have to multiply twelve into four. How much? Twelve four sir. Forty eight, right? Plus add this numerator plus three. Forty-eight plus three. How much will come? Fifty-one. Fifty-one. Got it. So write it here. Fifty-one by four minus seven by fifteen. Now these two denominators are different. Four and fifteen. We have to find LCM. Four and fifteen. Which table will use? Will use third table. This will not go in this, so bring this four down. How many threes are there in five? Five, uh, five threes are fifteen. Here also we'll use second table. Two twos are four. Got it? Bring this, bring this five as it is. Now multiply three twos are six. Six twos are twelve. Twelve. Into five, three into two, six, six into two, twelve, twelve into five, sixty. Got it? Now 
the denominator should come 60 right write it 51 by 4 see I have done for you 51 by 4 multiply with 15 so that the denominator will come 60 because the uh, LCM is 60 so denominator should come 60 so I multiplied with which number with 15 765 by 60 right and then now take 715 715 the same thing with the next number 7 by 15 right the 7 by 15 uh, here I am going to multiply with 4 7 4 are 28 15 into 4 60 so denominator we got 60 now minus 7 65 minus 28 will get 7 37 so denominator as it is this is the answer students now we completed section A I did for you 7 sums got it and then section B, we will do it in the Zoom class. 1, 2, 3, we will do it in the Zoom class. For your homework, for your homework, this is your homework. Exercise 5.5, section A, find the difference. Uh, this is not the exact number from the book. But the question is from the book. 2 by 3 minus 1 by 5 and this uh, mixed sum also. You have to do it as your homework. Thank you students for listening very carefully. We will continue in the next video. Thank you.